today's video, we're going to touch on the view part of our model view controller paradigm. And the view located down in this little box here in this diagram is the part of our model that generates the code that the web browser will view, will actually render out. And generally that's HTML and JavaScript in the case of Rails here. And the view can have HTML inside of it, the actual view files, can have HTML, JavaScript, and Ruby code embedded in the actual file. So if you notice that so far in other videos when we talked about the model and the controller, these are corresponding to individual files. So we're going to have model files, controller files, and view files. Controller and model files will be Ruby files, they'll be .rb files. But view files are going to be .rhtml files, which is essentially Ruby HTML files, where they get rendered by the controller and give us HTML out of there. So let's go ahead and take a look at a little Ruby application that I have running here. And it just shows a list of, of simple recipes on the top part of it with some links that we can view the individual recipe, we can edit or delete them, and then we have a little search box down here. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the source code of this. And you'll notice that we have pretty much standard HTML, very simple, and it's pretty much what I set up in the file, in the view file, which I'll show you in a second. And the main elements here, and the ones that I especially want you to take a look at here, are the table elements here. So we have a table with four table rows and then a series of elements inside of those. And you'll notice there's four of them. And, and I'm showing you this for a specific reason when we take a look at the actual view code. And then down here we have a form and uh, another link. Now if I switch over and I take a look at my code for this, first off, let's take a look at our controller here. Let's slide this window down. If we look at this URL up here that we've called, we called recipe slash list. And when we get into other videos of how what these specific URLs are, I'll cover this more in depth, but I just want to touch on this and how it relates to views. So we have recipe up here. This corresponds to a controller name. In our case, it's the recipe controller. So this corresponds to this. And Rails adds on this underscore controller when this is called. The end part of this is list. And that's a particular method inside the recipe controller. In our case, it's list. And it's this method right here. Now, if you're looking at this, you're going, well, that doesn't generate any kind of HTML or anything. In fact, all it looks like it does is set up a instance variable. And in fact, that is all it does at this level. But Rails does a lot of things in the background that you have to learn that there's a lot of things that Rails does for you. One of the things is that when this is run, what it's actually going to do is go ahead and set this local variable. Then it's going to look for a view file of the name list. In our case, we do have a view file called list.rhtml that this method will render once it go ahead and runs this line. So this line sets a instance variable called all recipes to all the recipes that it can find. In other words, all the recipes in our database. 